What's up guys? So I just got this monitor in and uh, I'm gonna make a video because I ran into a little bit of problems and I could see a lot of people was as well. So what you wanna do is when you get it is you wanna go here. If you're gonna check for the firmware, go here, go support, find out, go to information. It's gonna tell you, you know, what your version is. Of course, I've already updated it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. It's not as uh, practical as we want it to be. Step one, USB. Pretty easy. Follow these exactly and you will have absolutely no problems. Okay, so registered USB. What you want to do is go to um, Samsung. I should have it already here. Samsung.com forward slash firmware. Go here. These are just the links I used, but it works. So you're gonna come to this page, okay? Now, first thing you wanna do, computing. It's gonna come up with here, you're gonna select monitors. Okay, now, this is where I got lost a little bit. It's not listed here. I went through all of these looking for it, but it's actually under gaming. Why wouldn't it be, you know, so Odyssey. So it's gonna be a view more. Now you gotta find out, of course, whenever you go through the, it'll tell you what, um, you know, series you have in the information at the beginning. So if you're not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the, um, for the Neo, the new one. And then like the 95 series is just the Odyssey. So I don't know, we'll just click this. So, so you're gonna come here, but um, gotta go to firmware. It's gonna tell you the version. So you know if you're up to date or not, but if uh, throughout all this, if you click on this, it's going to give you some pretty decent instructions. But um, that's not where the problems I ran into getting this far. So you're going to, I've already did this, but we're going to download. It's going to pop up up here. You're going to open file. It's going to be here now. It's going to open automatically. But the problem is, is this is zipped. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is right click on the side of the screen you're gonna extract all this is gonna pop up extract now it's unzipped okay now what's gonna happen is is if you don't unzip the file and you try to move it in a folder to your USB drive the monitor is not gonna register it as being there so you have to unzip it don't make the same mistake I did so whenever it's here highlight it you're gonna go to uh, copy all right, copy, and then you're gonna click on your USB drive, then you're gonna go here, and then you're just gonna simply paste it, All right? I've already done this. So at that point, it'll be here, and then that's that. Now, to the other part. So you'd pull it out, simple as that. You'd come around, of course, you'd take your little cover off. You don't have to take it off all the way, okay? But on the far right side there's going to be service of course it's it's you can read it right there service but there's two of them and at first i only thought it was one see this back one the very far back one i plugged it into that and it wasn't registering anything so i was like what the hell you know so come to find out i end up looking in and then there's two there's one in the front right here that's the one you want to plug in and Whenever you get around here, it's as easy as this, guys. You come back after you got it plugged in. And then you're going to go to support. You're going to go to software update. You're going to click this. It's going to come up this screen. It should recognize it immediately if you unzip the file. And then it should automatically update. So, easy as that. I wish, um, I don't know. After doing it, it's actually really, really simple, but for some reason I have to make everything harder, but uh, hopefully that helps. Under five minutes, no bullshit, straight to the point. See you guys later.